Hello, and welcome to Sunday Crafternoon. So glad that you could come. My name is Nancy, and here I am on in Pooh Corner at the Saskatoon Public Library. And we are on Treaty 6 territory and the traditional homeland of the Métis. And I wanted to remind you that we are all treaty people. You know, except for the Pooh Corner animals, I'm in here by myself, so I'm going to take my mask off. A little easier to hear and see me. Today for Crafternoon, we're going to be making an exploding card. An exploding card? What is that? It's a card that opens up to show you the center. Here's one I've made. I'll show you. And all you have to do is pull the corners and it opens up to show the center. And of course you can decorate it anything you want. This is really fancy paper and I don't need anything quite that fancy to be able to make these. So I'm going to start with some very plain paper. This one has a little bit of color. It's a little bit yellow, but it's just an eight and a half by 11 sheet. And you can use just plain paper if you like. If you want to, color the paper ahead. I brought some crayons because I love to color with crayons, but a pencil, a pen, a pair of scissors is nice if you've got one. You can rip things, but sometimes it's just easier with a pair of scissors. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do first. First of all, to make these cards, you need to have the paper be square. So I'm going to fold it to make it square. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold the corner over so I've got it lined up along the edge. And if you line it up straight like that, you can just fold it down and it will it'll mark a square for you. So I've got it folded, a triangle right there, so that you can see that it lines up along the bottom. Now I'm just going to cut off across here. So I take my scissors and I cut up that line that we just made. And there we have. Well, I have a half a square because if I open it, it's a square. Okay, now what we want to be able to do is we're going to mark the half lines and the quarter lines. So I'm going to just fold it in half like this so I can find my half lines. And I'm not going to, I'm just going to pinch the corners so that I mark them rather than folding it all the way. And then I'm going to turn it this way and do the same thing. Again, I'm pinching the corners that I've made. Now I'm going to do with the same with quarter lines. I'm going to pinch from here to the, to the pinch mark I've already just made. So I've got half lines and quarter lines pinched in the same way on this side. I've got half lines and quarter lines pinched. I'm going to turn it this way and do the same thing. Now I'm also going to do some marking. You can see that we've got whole bunch of different folds here, but I need some specific ones. I need the ones that are at the corners at the center here. So I'm going to actually mark them with a pencil so that I can see what I'm doing. So I've marked these corners where the two sets of lines join. See that? So you've got a square, and, and then I'm going to turn it over and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side of the paper so that I can see each of those corners because now we have to make a fold that isn't quite as obvious. Okay, you see, see all the dots? Now we're going to fold between the dots. I'm going to fold, fold it and fold it so that my dots line up. 
and finish that. I'm going to come again. I'm going to fold it. I'm going to fold it. And I'm going to right between the two dots. Go again. Fold it and fold it between the two dots. See the dots? Go one more time. Fold it and fold it between the two dots. Okay? Okay. And then in the center you've got an inset square. Look at the center. Now you can see what we've got is a square right in the center inside. We've also got lines that go out from it at the corners that are also inset. And then we've got these lines that go out. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take it like this. I'm going to hold my fingers like that. And I'm just going to push together at the corners and it's going to go like that. Isn't that neat? And it turns into a little square. And on the back, it's got our little inset square. Okay, now I'm going to have to fiddle it around a little bit because not everything is quite smooth. But if you fiddle with your corners and make everything lie down properly, then you've got a square with an inset. Okay, how you open it is you go like that. And then you've got your piece back again. And then you just fold it back down. So you've got your card. Now what can you do with that, right? So, you can, if you wish, you can just write into the center, or you can have another piece of paper that you can put into the center that so, so that it will uh, different color and have as a piece that you can take out. I'm going to show you some of the designs that I've made. I made it in a bunch of different colors. Um, this one here, I put a square in the bottom. And it's another square on the back, so that you've got different colors. And again, I just did that with a little bit of glue stick. And it folds in and out. You could also decorate. This one I just drew on it with a marker. And I put a square on the inside. But you can see that this opens up the design when you open it. I also made a design on the back. It doesn't change so much when you open it, it's just there. But you can write into the corners. And then you can, uh, you can color them. And this one here I just uh, did with some, with some crayons, actually. I wrote, a, I wrote a message on it. I wrote a message on the inside. And then I just colored it all. And I also colored onto the back. So I've got, and this was all done with crayon. So uh, this one here, when you pop it, you can see the, the faces and the children come out. So have fun with it. Make the little make the little square and uh, and have it all together on paper. So take a look and see what you can do. Thank you for coming to Crafternoon.